Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the San Andreas Public Library, and I'm here with State Representative Candidate Grace Stone. How are you doing today, Miss Stone? I'm doing well, and yourself? Absolutely fantastic, thank you. Beautiful facilities here. I imagine you're a book lover of sorts, right? A bit. I'm a bit addictive. Have been for a while. Well, it, it's a great passion to have an addiction about, absolutely. So, Miss Stone, tell us a little bit about yourself. What are some of your values, all right? And what got you passionate about politics? Um, to be completely honest with you, I was a criminal for majority of my life. Uh, and because I was, I was in the justice system quite a bit. Um, and when you are in the justice system quite a bit, you tend to learn a couple of things and get interested. Um, so when I removed myself from being a criminal, uh, I wanted to dive a bit deeper into it and hopefully give my perspective on things. I've got that, I've got that. And uh, what would you say helps you the most in your reformation? Oh God, support from others, definitely. If you don't have support from others, there's no way you can really change. All right, and would you say that your, your time on the other side of the law is what, what made you interested in running for the position of state representative? Definitely, yes. Because it, being in my position that I was, I can see things I don't believe most of the other candidates can. Do you want to give us an example for the people at home? What is one of the issues that, that, that you see people face as being on the other side of the law? Something that you would want to address as state representative? Yeah, of course. Um... A big thing that I continually see is, um, and a big thing I've personally experienced, honestly, a lot of inmates at the moment don't have many rights, uh, according to the Constitution. Um, and because of that, there is no regulations, uh, majoritively, and there's no laws dedicated for police officers, etc., on how to deal with inmates, as in what you can do with inmates as well, uh, while being imprisoned. Um, one of my stays at Bolingbroke, uh, I was placed into solitary confinement for longer than my sentence was due uh, because an officer disagreed with something that I was saying. And because there were no laws or regulations on how long you can place a prisoner in solitary confinement, or if you can place a prisoner in solitary confinement at all, uh, that wasn't against oh, the yeah. law in any way. Yeah. Absolutely unfortunate that you had to go through that. But it did open my eyes to what I wanted to see changed and some things that needed to be enacted, I believe. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so what, Miss Stone, do you think are the most important parts about being a state representative and, and what do you personally bring to the table? Actually working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I know that's a bit uh, crude, but um, I really believe in being extremely proactive about the things that need to be done and the things that the public bring to state representatives need to be done in a timely fashion. Um, and if they're voted down, I think that needs to be public too. I think that's extremely important. Um, if you're in that position, you better use it for the benefit of others. Well said, well said. So, Miss Stone, if elected, what is your ultimate vision over the next four months while in office, all right? Uh, I have quite a few things, but um, I'll stick to one at the moment. Uh, a big thing is looking about towards the future. So I have an emergency, a business and emergency act, uh, which would basically allow businesses after a major economy crash um, to not have to pay taxes for a little bit, uh, to be able to get themselves on their feet. Um, just so we're not dumping businesses that have worked really hard to get here into the city um, on the floor, should something like that happen. Absolutely. Another great statement here from Miss Stone. All right. We've, we've had a couple of your policies. It sounds like you've got a good platform you're going with here. We really do appreciate you taking the time here at 16 Minutes today and, and talking about your platform with us, Miss, Miss Stone. All right. Absolutely. No, thank you. Absolutely. We wish you the best on your run here at State Representative. All right. Sure thing.